So using a statistics mode on our calculator, we're going to estimate the mean um, from the, the frequency table that's got group data in. So what we're going to do first is set our calculators onto statistics mode. Both of these calculators work in a very similar way. Press mode, number two for stat. And in this case, we're doing one variable statistics. So we press number one and we get that. Let's have a look at what happens on this calculator. Press mode, number two for statistics, number one for one variable the same. By default, they come up like that. What we really want is we want to set that up so that we've got a frequency table there. So we go into the setup, shift setup, go down, number three for stat, turn the frequency column on, number one, and then you've got the X and the freak, which is the score and the frequency. Same over this side. Second function, set up, go down, number three for stat, number one for frequency on, and then it's the same. So then what we do, in the X column, which is the data value, we're using the class center. So we'll go down and we'll go 4.5, press equals to enter it. Notice the default frequency comes up at one. We'll go back and we'll change that later on. So 14.5, 24 24.5, 34.5, 44.5, 55.5, 64.5, hang on. I made an error, so I'll just go back up and go 54.5. That's the beauty of these calculators over the old ones. You can see your data and you can see if you've made an error or not. Um, where are we up to? 64.5, now 74.5. Okay, so scrolling back up. Okay, so they're all correct. Go across to the frequency columns and enter the frequency data. 8 equals 7 equals 6 equals 8 equals 5 equals 4 equals 3 equals 1 equals and then we're finished. Scroll back up to the top to double check that it's okay. Now I'll quickly do it on this calculator as well. Exactly the same method. Okay. So what we've got, we've got our data in there. We go up, we double check it as we go. Everything looks okay. Now, once your data's in there, we need to get out of that screen so we can do our statistical calculations. So we press the AC button on both calculators and it goes back and it looks like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we can see the whole calculator here. Right. Then, to get our estimation of the mean, we've got to go into the statistics functions, um, which is on this calculator above the number one, and on this calculator, again, above the number one, where it says stat VAR, this one just says stat. So on this calculator, we go shift, stat, we get a menu that comes up. T to work out the mean, we go into number four, VAR for variances. Now, there's lots of different options here. You can go type, which we're not going to worry about at this stage. Data, if I go two for data, I get back to my data and I can check it and I can change it. Press AC, shift, stat. If I want things to do with the sum, if I want to add up all the numbers, then I can use three. But for most of the time, you're going to use number four for the variances. So press number four, and then we've got N for the number of data values, X with a bar across it, which means the mean. Greek letter sigma, subscript X, is for the standard deviation of a population. SX is for the sample standard deviation of a population. We'll use number three and four down the track a little bit. Okay, um, today all we're doing is number two to calculate the mean. So we just press number two and it comes up, says X bar equals 30.2. Okay, on this calculator, exactly the same. Second function, stat, number four, number two, 
equals 30.2 and that's how we calculate the mean using the statistics functions on our calculator.